Yo, what's going on guys? Taco Man here. That was actually a lie. It was me. Deal. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Dude, the person who said I kind of sound like um, Taco Man, I hate you because now I kind of hear it and now I can't unhear it. You know what? I'm basically an off-brand uh, Taco Man. God dang it. Man. I knew I knew I was getting way too much views for my own good. <laughs> okay, enough winning games. Although I could probably mimic him if I get the exact same setup and stuff. Uh, since I am working towards becoming a voice actor, training my voice every now and then, uh, mimic him, mimicking him could be pretty pretty easy, you know. Especially since I can do other stuff. Like even if I wanted to talk as a girl, I can do that as well. <laughs> but chaotic is not about that life, am I? Anyway. Uh, what's going on, people? Chaotic here, and uh, enough with the voiceover random stuff. You can you can have some more cursed content on my live streams. There you go. But this video is gonna be another voiceover thing. Surprisingly, why am I doing so many voiceovers these days? It's weird. But this one is just gonna be a quick little uh, showcase on the sneak that's gonna be coming up on uh, AOPG pretty soon. Maybe by like the end of the month or like sometime like middle of next month, maybe. And that is gonna be Dragon Awakening, yes! Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty hyped about that. I actually love dragons. I always wanted to get like a Japanese uh, sleeve tattoo of it. It's gonna look sick. But, you know, that's like IRL stuff. No one wants to hear about that. Anyway, look at the screen right over here. We have three different things on the screen. First of all, we have the horns. We have an obi, which anyone does not know what that is. It's like a, a rope that uh, people usually tie around a yukata to... You know, make sure the yukata doesn't like fall out and whatnot. It's basically like a belt out of cloth. You can use it in the cloth or you can use it as a rope, either one. And then we have the cape. Three different accessories, right? The one thing that worries me is the obi. Technically, you're supposed to wrap it around your waist. So I'm not sure if that's going to count as like the first accessory in terms of pants. Or if that's going to be like a downgraded version of the cape. Similar to how Brooke has the sunglasses and the top hat. Hopefully we actually do get like something for your waist or something for pants. Because we don't have that yet. And then we can use the boots and the cape and you know the horns all together. <coughs> Woo. A hot girl's talking about me? <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's going to be the accessories on the side. And if you look right at the top right corner. You're gonna see something red highlighted in like a little blue image and a giant shadow You can already tell what that is, right? And this is gonna be the next image right over here There we go as you can see by the giant flaming dragon that's glowing I would basically say yeah, that looks pretty awakened, right? All right. It looks pretty sick, right? Like crazy to think this one is coming out back to back Along with uh, Soul Awakening and we all know how OP Soul Awakening is from my last video which I had to re-record a bunch of different scenes just to include Soul Awakening. That's how broken it actually was. After that we have two different images for screenshots that Zuri posted. Oh my god the model looks so good. I Is that model better than Blocks, Blocks Roots? <laughs> I don't even know. Do you guys do you guys think that model looks better than Block Shoots model? <laughs> now I'm gonna show you two images. This is like the nighttime and the daytime. Yeah, you, you get both of them. Here's nighttime. And here is daytime. Alright, that's that's how it looks in both times. There you go. Nice a zoomed up image of it. And you can quickly see all the shading and stuff that really went into this. That looks hella sick. And this is the image over here that I was talking about earlier with. I maybe it's better than maybe this model is better than Block Screws. Look at the effects coming off of the dragon, bro. I'm sorry, but for those of you who don't have a good computer, uh, this is about to be you. But back to back awakening for the um some of the Yonko Devil Fruits, right? So. Part of me believes that if there is gonna be a Soul Awakening which gives us Misery Mode, we have the Dragon Awakening which gives us that mode. Uh, if we have these two already, right, part of me believes that there are, th there are two things that are gonna happen, right? As I said, this is what Kaido used in his battle against Luffy, the owner of the gum gum fruit or the rubber fruits, you know, Gear 5, all that, yeah, that thing. So part of me believes that if this comes out, they're probably going to have to revamp Gear 5 again. 
uh, or uh, buff it so it's around equal to the damage that dragon outputs or something pretty close to that if not more this fruit i assume is gonna be a contender to the rubber fruit the reason why i say that specifically is because in a previous post they said how soul awakening is gonna be a competitor to operation awakening and we all know how op operationing awakening uh, operation awakening was so if soul and operation awakening are going to be like giant aoe attacks although dragon is going to be good for actually wait a minute because dragon v2 is coming out now oh my god i actually didn't think about that for beginners the best fruit that you can possibly get that can carry you all the way to like mid game is probably dragon because of its large aoe it can fly and um, it does like pretty pretty good damage it's up there in like the top 10 in uh, terms of damage so if that's the thing already and you get dragon v2 that can either push it all the way up to the top or somewhere around they're making it like a really good fruit for both mid game and end game this fruit is going to be good for both early game and mid game so you only need like one fruit technically nice i didn't think about that but yeah the main thing i was talking about how like soul and operation are going to be more aoe focused so i'm assuming instead of or maybe it might be the same with an even larger AoE or something, but I'm assuming they um, they nerfed the AoE of Dragon and just gave it like a lot of damage. You know how a uh, Gear 5 Bajran Gun does like the, like I think it did like over a million just by itself. I'm pretty sure Dragon might be the same just like that. Doing some crazy amounts of damage, but... I don't know, like, let me, let me get your thoughts on it. What do you guys think about the new Dragon V2 or Dragon Awakening? I think I'm really, I'm really hyped for this. Not only because I like dragons, but this model looks crazy. The dev team really went all, all out on this. Anyway, yeah, um, that's going to be it for the video, I guess. I don't really exactly know why I even made this. I just wanted to show off the sneak peeks of the dragon fruit. Yeah, because, well, it looks really sick. Hopefully, uh, people are going to be playing with dragon a lot more or oh, right by the way before uh dragon v2 comes up i suggest that you start stocking up on dragon fruits because they're going to be worth quite a lot after this one and um stay tuned for another video as i'm going to be trying to become even stronger than i currently am in my thing and um i want to make another video on how strong you can possibly become in aopg altogether so look forward to those two videos i'm just gonna stop blabbering about now anyway take care folks and i'll see you later